Hello and welcome to Crime Watch Daily Updates. I'm your host, Anna Garcia. A 22-year-old pregnant mother from Baltimore vanished just before her baby shower in 2017. But it wasn't for four and a half years that authorities finally said they knew who was responsible for her disappearance. Akia Eggleston, who was eight months pregnant, was last seen on May 3rd, of 2017. Baltimore police say evidence points to the father of Akia's unborn child. According to police, Akia's boyfriend, Michael Robertson, was expecting a child with Akia while also maintaining a relationship with another woman with whom he had two children. On February 3rd, 2022, the Baltimore City State's attorney announced Akia's boyfriend, Michael Robertson, had been arrested and charged with two counts of first degree murder. Now let's take a look back at Akia's tragic disappearance that left her family and an entire community mourning for this young mother and her unborn son. Akia Eggleston was a firecracker. The spark plug. (laughs) Oh, yes. She was shorter on the shorter side, but she had a ball of energy and she would always try to make people happy. Yes, ma'am. She she did more for others than she would do for herself. She was always looking to see how she could brighten someone else's day. A resident of the Cherry Hill area of Baltimore, 22-year-old Akia had a two-year-old little girl from a previous relationship. She loved the daughter, you know. You couldn't ask for a better mother-daughter relationship. Always together, dancing and playing and singing together. And her family was growing. She was eight months pregnant with a little boy. Was she excited about the second baby? Yeah. Was she in good spirits? Yeah, she was in good spirits, but she barely could walk. A difficult pregnancy. The baby was breached. So Akia's doctor ordered bed rest. Not that she was listening. She was still active with her friends, active with the family. Uh, still doing things, to, just not to just be sitting around. Akia had kept the identity of the baby's father to herself. But why? She never discussed with us who the baby father was. Did you ask? No, I didn't ask. Whatever she felt like that she wanted to come and speak about, you know, that's what Pop Pop was for, her ear to listen. Turns out, Akia's stepfather, Sean, would later learn he knew him. He was a a childhood friend of mine. What's his name? Andre Michael Robinson. It was kind of like, wow, I didn't even know he was dating my daughter. One month until Akia's due date. But first, the long-awaited baby shower. And she even put a deposit down for this baby shower. That is correct. $900? Yes, ma'am. So this was something she was planning to show up for. Absolutely. But that day would turn tragic. Akia never arrived. How did you get word your granddaughter was missing? My wife and I, we had got a phone call from my nephew. He asked us, did we know about Akia? And we said to him, Akia, what about Akia? He said that he heard that she was missing. You were texting with Akia on the day she went missing. Mm -hmm. What was in the messages? I called her and she wouldn't answer her phone. So I texted her and asked her, was her phone off? And she said, no, why? I said, I have been texting you. She said, I can't talk to you right now. I'll call you back later. And that was it. Did she sound? I don't think that was her. You think it was someone else? Yeah. The family files a missing persons report. Baltimore City Police began their investigation. Talk to me about Akia's case. How was it assigned to you? The day I received the case, myself and another detective went out to the apartment. We did an initial canvas. I talked to one of the maintenance men. The maintenance man said, yeah, she was just here. I saw her an hour ago. So I was feeling pretty confident that, okay, I can clear this thing pretty quick. But finding clues to Akia's disappearance would be anything but quick. Finding a suspect may be even more difficult. Who was Akia living with at the time? She had a roommate. Male or female? Female roommate. It was just the two of them and also her two-year-old daughter? It's a two-year-old would spend time with Akia and spend time with her father. Now, the roommate also had a child. So there was two small children in the house and the two mothers. Detective Reno talks to Akia's roommate. We interviewed the roommate, and there were some text messages between Akia and the roommate in reference to Akia moving out. So didn't bring up any red flags because she was moving out. Where was Akia planning to move? That she was going to move in with the baby's father. Investigators talked to a neighbor who says he saw Akia at the bus stop the day before. We pulled the video from the apartment complex. We pulled MTA, all the bus footage 
for the entire Cherry Hill area to see if we could get her getting on a bus. We were trying to work a timeline, so we had to go back to when she was last seen and then go from there. Coming up, hours of video surveillance, then a hit. She doesn't look disheveled. She doesn't look like she's under any kind of stress. And are they closing in on a culprit? Is anyone right now publicly a person of interest or a suspect? We have a person of interest, yes. Akia Egelstem, eight months pregnant, and the mother of a two-year-old girl has vanished. Reported missing after strangely not showing up to celebrate her own baby shower. Other things started transpiring, her not coming to the baby shower, people going to her apartment and finding her belongings missing. It just became, where is Akia? Baltimore police are wondering the same thing. We pulled the video from the apartment complex. Of course, the one camera we needed wasn't working. We pulled MTA all the bus footage to see if we could get her getting on a bus. Whew, you're talking hours and hours all negative. Has there been any activity on her social media? Absolutely nothing. It all stops. It's a mystery. Yes. A mystery, but cops aren't giving up, conducting interviews and searches for her remains. We had two areas where we searched, and they, thank God they were both negative. But one bizarre clue did surface. It only raised more questions. Baltimore City Police confirmed a crime watch daily on the day IKEA went missing. A family friend drove her around to a number of bank locations to collect money. But what was the money for? She was getting the money so that she and her baby's father were going to get a house together. A large amount of money. A lot of money. On that day. On that day. Detectives pull surveillance video from multiple banks around town and catch a break, finding the last known images of IKEA before she vanished. What does the bank surveillance show you? The bank surveillance shows us at the bank by herself. She doesn't look disheveled. She doesn't look like she's under any kind of stress. She's there on her own. She presents a cashier's check to the teller. She receives cash and she leaves. Is that bank the only bank she stopped? We had her stop in several locations. We had her at the Royal Farms where she takes money out of the money machine and then goes to the countering where she gets cashier's checks. We have her at a Wells Fargo in South Baltimore where she says she was waiting on a check to come in. Who are these checks coming from? Various places. Various places and various people? Yes. Cops learn it was a female friend who drove a Kia around to the banks that day, later taking her back home. That friend has never been considered a suspect or had any involvement in Akia's disappearance. Is that person cooperative? Very. She provided us with some very good information. Good information, but still no Akia. She didn't show up for her baby shower. Yes. She basically leaves her two-year-old behind and she is collecting large amounts of money on the day she vanishes. Yes. What do all of these things tell you? She was duped or she's starting a new life somewhere with a new name. Is that really possible? Oh yeah, anything's possible. But would you say it's more possible that there's foul play in all of this? Gut, 24 years of experience, yeah. Akia's stepfather agrees. We expect the foul play from day one. The first thing that comes to my mind is, where's the father? The father of Akia's unborn son, Andre Michael Robinson. Were you able to identify the baby's father? Yes. Is he cooperative? Can't answer that. <laughs> the man believed to be the father of the second baby, who was your childhood friend, have you spoken with him? I have been directed not to speak to him. Has he shown up for any searches? None. None at all? None at all. Has he been cooperative in this investigation? The police have interviewed him, and that's all they've told me. Robinson has not been named a suspect. He has not been arrested or charged in connection with the disappearance of Akia Eggleston. Is there any possible way in all of this Akia could have walked away on her own? No way. It no wasn't way. no chance in this in this God's green earth was she going to walk off. Eight months high risk pregnancy, one, she had to have a cesarean, two, and leave her daughter behind, three, was not going to happen. Akia's baby was breached, so she would have needed the help of doctors to deliver her son. 
Were you able to circle around to local hospitals in the area to figure out if a woman fitting her description gave birth? We have contacted every single local hospital and they were all put on alert that we were looking for this young lady and that she was reported missing and we have gotten nothing back. Do you think that she could have been targeted for her baby? I can't answer that. Is it po Anything's possible. Is anyone right now publicly a person of interest or a suspect? We have a person of interest, yes. Are you ready to share who that person of interest is? No. It's now been seven months since Akia disappeared, and the FBI has joined the mysterious case. I'm here today to announce that the FBI is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for information regarding the whereabouts of Akia Eggleston. We are hoping this reward money will get our community talking and provide the tips needed to find her. In the meantime, seasons and milestones have passed. Akia would now be 23 years old, her daughter three, and her son six months. How difficult has this been for you and for your family? Um, countless nights of no sleep, tears. It has been devastating. It's just been a real burden on the family, and we want her back. We want her back. Now, all her family can do is wait and pray that someone, sometime soon, comes forward. To the person who has information, what would you tell them? Please, I hope God touches your heart to let in, any information y'all have to let it go. We need a kid and kid needs her daughter and her daughter needs her. She needs to be home. Akia Eggleston is described as 4'8", weighing 145 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. She'd no longer be pregnant. Anyone with information regarding her case is urged to call the Baltimore Police Department at 1-443-984-7385.